move on to the Z axis. First thing we have to do is remove the uh, measurement uh, section that's screwed into the, into the rail of the mini mill because we need some space to mount the actual slide for the Z axis. This axis is a little easier to mount. Uh, what we have to do is basically just drill some holes into the into the vertical stand here and mount the scale along the rail here. Um, and then notice I have a dial indicator mounted to uh, the mill head and then I'm running the the dial indicator along to make sure that I set the um, to make sure this is parallel um, so that when we move the, sc the scale sensor along the entire axis of the z-axis that we're uh, again we're holding about one thousandths of an inch so I have that adjusted then again what I did just as the same as the uh, the y-axis is I made a paper template to get the proper dimensions and then I used my vise and some 22 gauge sheet metal to make a proper bracket then I can take this over drill the holes uh, and again slightly oversize for adjustments so we won't have any any tension mounted on the scale sensor and then all we have to do is do an operational check next video we'll get into the uh, mounting of the x-axis scale okay here on the z-axis we've mounted the bracket one thing you want to do when you're pre-fitting your scales is you want to make sure before you do any hole drilling that uh, you can hit the each of the ends of the axis on the scale and have plenty of room for your full travel and that's going to affect where you're going to mount your brackets either on the X Y or Z axis so in this particular case what I did was I put the scale up there and I taped it with some duct tape and then I made sure that I could get the full travel of the scale and actually what I do is I when I go to the the topmost stop on the Z axis I make sure that there's a teeny bit more travel on the scale I don't want the axis to bottom out the scale so I leave just a teeny bit on each end and that will determine where I drill the holes for my brackets uh, both on the on the scale end and on the sensor end and then where they actually hold the sensor uh, firm in this case on the z-axis to the head or on the y-axis to the physical table mounting then once you get everything mounted you want to make sure the manufacturer places these uh, plastic slide brackets inside the sensor scale so you want to make sure you loosen the two screws there then you can or remove the two screws here and then that will allow you to move it along the entire axis then when you have the physical bracket and the scale aligned and mounted then you can come along as the very last step and pull out the plastic guide now you won't have any pinching binding and the actual sensor will be able to ride along the scale and have a little bit of play in it proper amount of play in it so it won't bind your sensor and or pinch against the glass scale